Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a sliding glass door with a smooth threshold that is scaled for minifigures for today's Lego brick tutorial. Let's begin with an 8x16 plate. You can use any size you wish. For right here, I'm going to start with a 1x8 plate. Next to the plate, set down a pair of 2x2 flat tiles in this area, and right here on the left, a 1x4 plate. Now I want to start tiling in my floor, so I'm going to start right here with a set of one by two flat tiles and here in the front four two by two flat tiles right in this area a one by two by two corner flat tile we're going to set that right there now why am i using that because i'm going to set in a one by one by two thirds cheese slope i'm going to make sure that the largest side of the slope is facing this plate. This is going to be our little track for our sliding door. And we're going to proceed on with several more 2x2 two two flat tiles. This will complete the floor onto the other side of the sliding door. As you can see, we have a nice smooth threshold. Let's build a right wall starting with 6 one by four bricks. We're going to stack these on top of one another. And on this stud right here, a one by two inverted 45 degree slope. This is going to be a stop for our door and a one by three brick. We're going to place this right here. Now let's build a left wall with six more one by four bricks. Just place these on top of one another. And we're going to take a 1 by 2 inverted 45 degree slope. We're going to place this on the right hand side of this 1 by 4 brick and a 1 by 3 brick right here. This will be the other stop for our door. Place that right there. For our stationary window, take a 1 by 4 by 6 frame. We're going to place a piece of glass inside the frame and on the bottom a 1x4 plate. We're going to place this right on top of the 1x8 plate. Now let's rotate this around. Take another 1x4x6 frame. Let's set a piece of glass inside the frame. And this right here, I'm going to take one of these 45 degree slopes with the plate. Set this right here. This is going to act as our little guide to keep it inside the track when the door is closed and a 1x3 plate on the bottom. Now we're going to set this in here. Take a 2x8 plate with slide. I'm going to set down a 1x8 plate right on top and I'm going to set this in like so. Just make sure you, your sliding window is installed. And we're going to smooth off the top and lock everything together with a pair of 1x8 flat tiles and just to decorate these two tops of these slopes, a set of one by one flat tiles. And as you can see, we have a nice smooth threshold on the floor so you don't have to trip over that nasty track. Looks pretty good and the door doesn't open too far and the door closes all the way. 